James Clemens playing in their home opener tonight. I should say they were hosting Mountain Brook for a week. One matchup, slow start for them though. After a three and out, the Jets would have their punt blocked. Parker Rogers gets in there to force a safety to give the Spartans a 2-0 lead. And when they got the ball back, they would drive right down the field and capitalize again out of this wild formation. Cole Gamble jumping his way into the end zone to make it a two-score game early. James Clemens really struggled to move the ball in this one in the first half. This kickoff return coming up right here from Ty Dowdy. One of their best plays of the first half. The Jets, they would get some offense rolling in the second half, but they couldn't overcome the early mistakes. They fall to the Spartans at home 18 to 13. Over at Milton Frank Stadium, there were two more Madison County schools in action as the lead generals were hosting Madison County, hoping to move to 1-0, or 2-0, I should say, and they were in control early. Carlin Long making that one look easy, powers his way in for six to give the Generals a 37 lead. And on the ensuing kickoff, the Tigers had a little life. It's Landon Duvall, who follows his blockers, gets some space, he's knocked out of bounds. That sets up the Tigers with good field position, but they would struggle to move the ball. Fourth down, it's a turnover on down. Zion Thomas comes in there with the big sack, and after just a few plays, it's another score. Terrell Matthews in for six. The Generals move to 2-0 for the first time since 2017 with a 50-26 win over Madison County. Finally, for our final game of the night, we head to Green Hill, where the Rogers Pirates were hosting Lauderdale County and what turned out to be a good one. The Pirates would get a good start to this one. Tyser Wood, quick dump off to Smith. He turns the corner, picks up a few yards. A few plays later in that drive, it's Tyser again. Floats one up to the far side, connects with Damian Thomas for the score. Rogers with an early lead. Lauderdale County works from behind with poise. Jackson Lovelace finds Tuck Green across the middle. Just like that, we're tied up at seven. This Jackson Lovelace kid, he's got some skill. Check him out here on the quarterback keeper. He's gonna make a couple of guys miss. He's gonna set up first and goal. Two plays later, he scores Lauderdale County. They move to 2-0 as they go on the road and take this one 26-13. The Tigers looking like a team to reckon with in Class 3A this year. And of course, tomorrow brings the second edition of Big Game Friday Night. This game right here, it's gonna be a good one. Austin travels to Decatur in the River City rivalry. 